Hey, welcome to the Backwoods Gourmet. Today we're going to sous vide a beautiful pork tenderloin. Then we're going to sear it off in the Sportsman's Grill. Hey. Y'all stay tuned. All right, so we have our uh, sous vide uh, stick from Avalon Bay going over here. This one has worked uh, pretty well. And we've already got that up to temperature 125 degrees. That's about what we want to bring our pork loin, pork loin to before we uh, grill it. And over here we have our vacuum packer. That's ready. And we have a vacuum bag. Make sure, absolutely sure, that your vacuum bags are BPA free. And uh, we're cutting board. We've got our, man, I'm really digging this new knife, this Michelangelo. That's that Damascus steel chef's knife. We're going to be using that because we're going to, we're going to do a little something special I'm going to this pork I'm loin. going to pineapple, make a pineapple stuffing for our pork loin, which is right down here in the refrigerator below me. And the, the ingredients we're going to need for that, we got some pineapple, obviously this is chunked up already, a lemon, some fresh sage leaves, and some fresh parsley. So I'm going to put this uh, chef's knife to work here, and we're going to start chopping all these things up. One final ingredient we're going to use, this is some, this is some very strong uh, German mustard. If you can't find uh, German mustard, then uh, use uh, spicy Dijon mustard. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to get plenty of lemon zest. And I'm going to use my micro grater here to zest a whole lemon. And we just want that nice yellow part from the lemon. It comes out right there on the grater. Dump that right into our bowl. ingredients are cut I'm gonna go ahead and give it just a little salt it's about a teaspoon coarse kosher salt that's gonna help bring out the sweetness of that pineapple for sure it's also gonna wilt down these um, these herb start removing some of the water from them. So we'll give that a good toss I'm gonna go ahead in there with some of our German mustard and that's going to be about uh, three teaspoons or a tablespoon or to taste. This has got a real good kick to it. And what it's going to do, it's going to help this to thicken and set inside of our, because uh, Chef Johnny don't know it yet, but we're stuffing that, that pork roast with this pineapple herb mixture. Okay, you can go ahead and give it a taste. Really awesome. It's gonna be even more awesome after it cooks in that pork. All right, so that's ready. So let's get out our pork roast. All right, so this is uh, the hard part, if there is any hard part. I'm gonna go ahead and take him off the tray and put him on the cutting board. That's why I brought out this long straight fillet knife. So we want to impale this guy, but we want, we want to make an even pocket, but we don't want to go all the way through this end. Uh, so 
we're going to just uh, take our knife level with our cutting board and start inserting it down the whole length now we can come back here and see that my blade won't reach the end so I can go all the way to the handle and not worry about going all the way through it all right so I'm gonna cut just a little bit that way and I'm gonna flip my knife or take my knife out I can flip it all right I'm gonna cut a little bit this way so we're making a pocket inside for our stuffing to go right there is our opening. now as far as I've found best way to do this is just get in here with your fingers and just start packing it in there and it stops going in you know it's full man this smells awesome all right, we managed to get it all in there, you know, and we got managed to get it all over the place. So that's great. So just take what you got left and what's on the cutting board here. Just smear that all around. Get that good pineapple juice and all them herbs right on the outside of this. Because the very next thing we're going to do is we're going to vacuum pack this baby and get him in the sous vide. But he's nice and full. So we cleaned up a little bit. One tip I wanted to give you when you use your vacuum sealer for this process, it does produce heat. Double seal your bags, okay? Uh, double seal the bottom, and then when we uh, back this down, we're also gonna double seal the top. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put him in the end that we didn't have the cut in. We'll put that in, in first. And we're just gonna slip him right down in there all the way. Now when you get him in here, remember he's gonna cook in this bag. So you kind of want to try to keep it in the center of the bag. And you're also going to need to take a paper towel and clean out here before you put it in the, in the machine. That'll help to make sure you get a good seal. Yeah, we're just Bring them right over to our food saver. I like to turn the edge of my bags down into there. Clamp her down, and we're gonna put it on moist and fast. Back and seal. You see all that moisture running out there? That's the reason why we're gonna seal it twice. All right, our loin is all prepped, double sealed at the top, double sealed at the bottom, time to put it on the sous vide. All right guys, this is the beauty of the sous vide method. This is already ready. All we have to do is lower our bag into that pot, walk away from it, go hunting, go fishing. Hey, I'll watch the football game if you want. There's no way to overcook it. Well, I was trying to figure out what we're gonna make for side dish for this, uh, this this pork loin and uh, I was up on Chef Johnny's channel this morning and I found his green bean casserole recipe. So I'm gonna take his recipe, I'm gonna modify it. He did his in the house, we're gonna do ours. I spent a couple today. hours, uh, about two and a half, three hours. And that's plenty of time for that temperature, 125, to get all the way through that beautiful piece of meat. And you see it's in there, it's just been in there sweltering with those, that pineapple juice, herbs, and that stuffing all inside. Alright, so this is what's going to look like when you bring it out of sous vide. It is, uh, it's, it smells off awesome. This is the fat side. It's a very thin fat side, though. This was already pre-trimmed when I bought it. We're going to go ahead now and season it. You don't want to season this um, prior to putting it in the sous vide because the salt in your seasoning will bring a lot of the more moisture out of it. I only poured off maybe about four tablespoons of juice off of this. 
So I'm going to season it all, all sides. All right, so I got this Sportsman's Grill. Should be raging hot right now. I'm going to go ahead and put it fat side down right on there. And we're going to have to watch for flare-ups, and we want some flare-ups. We want to sear that fat really well. If we have to, we'll move it off of there and let them die down. So one thing you got to remember about sous vide is the only reason we're even putting this on the grill is to get some color and some flavor and some char on that thing. It's already cooked perfectly to the temperature that we want it. So you see this nice uh, crust that formed on there. You know, I wish the piece of meat was a little rounder so we could kind of get the sides a little better, but we'll see what we can do about maybe holding with some tongs and get a little color on the sides also. Even if you have to hold it like this, you got a nice big long spatula where they get a little sear on the side. why the sous vide method is so popular in professional restaurants around the world is is you can get that meat to temperature before putting it on the grill and that's what we did today you know the grill is just giving it that char giving it that flavor giving that final seasoning getting ready for the plate it'll turn out perfect every time all right guys let's go ahead and see how we did i'm going to slice into this bad boy with our michelangelo chef knife here and it just glides right through it's got that beautiful stuffing inside. That's a beautiful medium right there. It's nice and juicy. And that stuffing is going to be awesome. So let's plate it up. Okay, let's go ahead and plate it up backwards gourmet style. First, I'm coming in here with some of Chef Johnny's green bean casserole. It looks really awesome. That crunchy topping on the top there. Got a little bit of that Parmigiano Reggiano cheese on there. I'm going to grab us a couple of uh, pieces of our pork loin stuff with herbs and pineapple. And I got some of the juice, and if I can keep from making a mess from the pan there. Drizzle that right over the top. Let's clean this plate up, give it a little garnish. So for some reason you guys always ask me to taste my food, not sure why. You can't trust a chef that cooked his own food to give you an honest opinion, but we'll give it a shot. I might have to go in for another one of those. It's a 
perfect medium it's tender that char on the outside delicious Hey, thanks for watching the Backwoods Gourmet. If you like what we're doing, please hit that like button right down there to subscribe to our channel. You can do it right here for another great Backwoods Gourmet video. It's going to be right up there. And for a whole playlist of cooking with the Lodge Sportsman's Grill, it's going to be right up there. We'll see you next time.